waiting to hear what happened with that poll. Dave, what was your interpretation or what explanation did you receive, if any? Well, we, we, they were talked about there that uh, it's a non-challengeable offense, but I, I, uh, I think what happened is, in hindsight, we should have challenged it. The, the thing that was at issue is it should have been a penalty, should have been an interference call, uh, wasn't called. Uh, but the timeline between when Louis fell down and got on his knees and decided to take his mask off was probably time for him to get back in the net. So there would have been a real conundrum there. So luckily it didn't come back to bite us. He said though it came, like a strap came loose, so he, it affected his vision and ultimately his safety. Was there nothing made that's what I was trying. That's what I was trying to tell the referee also, but uh, they didn't see it that way. What did you say to Louis? Uh, you know what I said to Louis? Keep the puck out of the middle because he would try to go right up the middle with that one. That's all you can do. Keep the puck out of the middle. Obviously, obviously though, the team rallied from it, David. Yeah. Was it, you know, was it and that was, moment? yeah, no, that was, okay, Louis gets the puck. He gets bumped. We get it back. We have it on our stick, and we give it away again. Meantime, Louis standing up, checking his mask. But the resiliency, mask. I guess, obviously, that it now is just, you know, put no, maybe, and not, you know, the catalyst for That's what I say. Right? That's what I say. We probably should have challenged it. We didn't. Uh, we got through it, and Louis made some big saves in the third. Yeah, we, you know, we just had guys out there that are willing to hang on to the puck and rides and Gordo and Vermi did a real good job down low. Just, uh, they iced it a couple times and it was, uh, it was the ship we needed to close it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was keep key play. They did, they, they're kind of dictate the pace for us. So I thought we played with real good pace. The first period, I thought we executed well and really skated well. This, you know, six or seven minutes start of the second, we turned some pucks over that we ended up chasing the game a little bit. And that's our biggest thing. We have to find the consistency for 60 minutes that we're going to be a fast, straight ahead team. And uh, when we get away from that, we, we defend too much. When we stick to that plan, we can play in the offensive zone, we can be an effective team. Oh, yeah, no, he's, he's, he's a pretty valuable player for us between. The line that he's playing on and the penalty kill, he's he's doing a pretty good job for us. We think of him as a worker, but I mean that takes skill to hustle and out muscle your dowdy and then to come mm -hmm. back Yeah, I mean you look at it in junior, he was a fifty goal scorer in junior. You know, he's turned into I, I really give him credit because he's really turned into a real defined player and there's players that do that. They're scorers in junior, but they find they're smart enough to find their niche in the game and get to the NHL and he's a guy that he has to put the work in first but he has decent skill you don't score 50 goals in junior without having decent skills so real nice move I mean real strong move to start with and then the move to score was very nice that's a line you trust at both ends of the game oh yeah I mean, they've become probably one of your most valuable at least why does it work and you know why can you trust them in so many different because they work they work they're they're all in on the work, and you know, and it's and donors really jumped in on that too. Like, they've got enough skill where they can make things happen. But you watch their goals that they score are from usually from physically beating somebody or creating a turnover from getting on top of people quick. I mean, they're a lot of their goals come right around that crease jamming, like the one uh, the other night against uh, San Jose. I mean, those are, that's working goals. No, I mean, we, everybody's got to play like that, but there's some, like Max and Duclair are more, uh, they've scored more goals off the rush than that line scored, but if Richardson's line scores off the rush a little more and Max and those guys score off the cycle a little more, we'd all be happy. Gets us to 500 on the points, you know, seven, seven points of the 14, and... You know, there's there's some positive things to that because I, you know, there's games that we've won this year we probably didn't deserve to win, uh, but there's some that you know the Jersey game we dominated that whole game Schneider was unbelievable. I mean, so there's two more points that you hope you have. So th those things come and go, but uh, you know, for the most part, we're we leave the home stand on a good note and we've got an opportunity of two more hard road games before the break to see if we can collect some more points and. 
go into the break and get a, get a little rest.